Hello, my name is Keith Rucker. So, got another project out here, or actually still working on the Vance Planar Matra restoration, but a project related to that uh, that we're going to be working on today. And I thought you guys would be interested in seeing. I'll be using the horizontal mill to do some uh, pretty heavy duty milling uh, on, on some of these parts here. So, the parts that you see laid out here uh, is all again for the uh, Planar Matra project that we're working. So. Uh, if you've been following my videos, you're familiar with that machine. If not, you can go back and look at some of my older videos to get an idea of how that machine is set up. But uh, the parts that we're working on here has to do with the last bottom cutter head, the last cutter head on the machine, which will be the bottom cutter head, which will plane the bottom of the board as it comes through. So it'll be the last side of the board that gets planed. So there's a cutter head on the bottom. We poured the Babbitt Barons on that uh, just the other day. Uh, and this piece here that you see here, this kind of rusty looking piece, this is a pressure plate uh, that will basically just hold the top side of that board down. So you got the cutter head coming and cutting on the bottom of that board and it needs something to hold it down so it's not flopping up and down. And that's what this uh, pressure plate does. Uh, the machine when we got it was actually missing this entire piece. Uh, it was missing the top part. Uh, I was able to find someone that had uh, the same machine that was uh, good enough to to take some measurements and take some pictures of this part and we actually made a pattern and had this part cast. So this is a rough casting that you're looking at here. Uh, we had it cast probably about a year ago and uh, it's just been sitting and de-stressing during that time as we've gotten to the point that we're now ready to start working on this. Uh, but the project for today has actually got to do with these uh, two stanchions, the uprights on the end, uh, that guide this piece as it moves up and down. So it has a groove uh, inside here that this piece here will be machined to fit in, into, and it slides up and down. The problem I've got with these is, is that these are very old and rusty, and uh, this surface in here that will be the uh, uh, machine surfaces that it goes up and down on, it's just gotten pitted over the years. So what we wanna do is come in here and just really just barely touch these off and clean them up so that we have a good machine surface to work on both sides. There'll be a gib on this side that we can use to tighten and adjust that uh, with wear over time. Uh, but I just wanna basically freshen this surface up. Just take enough off to clean them up uh, because we will be making the actual, or machining the, uh, these pieces here off this uh, uh, pressure plate later. The dimension really isn't critical because we can make this to match it. This is this is cast oversized, so I got plenty of metal to take off. So all I'm going to do is just make it clean it up. Just just take enough off in there to clean it up. And to do that, again, we're going to put these on the horizontal mill. Uh, I've got an inch and a half end mill back here on the back side, and uh, we're going to set these up to just go in there and uh, freshen up those uh, surfaces on these two stanchions. And then uh, later pro on, probably another video, we'll actually start machining out. Uh, the, uh, the this piece here to get it ready to go back on the machine. So let's get the, the mill set up and ready to go. All right, we've got this set up now. I think we're about ready to start going. So again, my whole purpose here is I just want to clean up the surfaces on the sides of these uh, of this uh, stanchion. And uh, I've got this set up on the mill. So this is not, this is an original piece. This is not a raw casting, uh, but there's not much that was machined on it. The bottom side down here, uh, where it goes down the table, that was machine flat, so I don't have to worry about that. That's my reference for going up and down. Uh, and we should, of course, we're going to be clamped to the table now, square with that surface. Uh, and then as far as getting it positioned in and out from the mill, I don't have a machine surface to measure with an indicator, so I just took a six inch scale and came in here. I've got it moved in now, but I just basically just put it on this side and put it on this side and got it to where it was uh, exactly six inches or as close as I can get with a scale uh, on each side. And uh, that should be good enough. We will have a little bit of adjustment in this because this, the, the holes that bolt this down is a little bit oversized. So I should have a little bit of wiggle in there that I can adjust it once I get in there. But this is now ready to go. We're just gonna go ahead and turn this mill on. Uh, I've got my cool mist going here just to give me a little bit of coolant um, and lubrication as I'm cutting this. And uh, we'll go ahead and clean this up. So I'm going to lift the table up now to get an edge to start working off of. So I'm just going to come in here and until I touch off. All right, that's cutting. So now I'll lower this back down. And we'll just bring this in about another 
I don't know, let's just start with about uh, 20 thousandths or so. And now we'll just let the table move down. Uh, let me turn that coolant back on. And the table's gonna rise up to do the cutting. meal made short work out of these uh, that did a great job I got all uh, that uh, cleaned up um, one of these uh, stanchions actually had a slot cut in it for a um, gib uh, to go in here the other one did not it just had the screws so I went ahead and uh, hogged out on one of them uh, a quarter inch thick by one inch wide uh, place for a gib to go down in there and I think that'll be an improvement I don't know if uh, I don't know why one was that way and one was the other uh, I suspect that maybe at some time they added the gib on one of them, but not the other one. I don't know. But uh, I went ahead and did it on both of them because I thought that was a good improvement. But that part is knocked out. Uh, before we can get these mounted on the machine, though, uh, we've got the issue of some bolts again. Uh, this is a three-quarter inch bolt. Um, what is that? About eight inches long, I think, or six inches. Yeah, six inches. And um, uh, it's got an inch and a quarter hex on it that's about three quarter inch high and again I can't find a bolt to match this. I can get one the right length and the right size but it's got a real narrow head and I know from taking these off you need that extra height on the head just to be able to get a wrench in there uh, to do the job. So I've got some uh, inch and a quarter uh, hex stock and we're just going to go ahead and make some new bolts. These are pretty much uh, toasty anyway. Uh, the heads were messed up on a couple of them. Uh, the bottoms were met. We had to, I had to drill out one of them to get it out because it was just so rusted up. So we're going to actually make uh, four of these bolts. And uh, while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and make four nuts too. Again, I want a thicker nut, a three-quarter inch thick nut, uh, and a standard uh, um, three-quarter inch bolt. The nut is not that thick, so we're just going to go ahead and make all of it, and uh, we'll do that on the lathe. <laughs>
All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, put a little uh, chamfer on these to uh, make the capping go well. And I'm just going to do this on the drill press real quick and use a, use a wrench to hold it. We're going to tap these on the milling machine. Um, my original plan was I was going to do it on the lathe. Unfortunately, uh, my tap wouldn't fit into my drill chuck that I had. It's just a little bit too big. So plan B, uh, we'll just power tap these on the, on the milling machine. Now, because I didn't drill these on here and I can't get them lined up just exactly right, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to let this vise float. I have a stop on the back back here uh, that this is going to just run up against. And uh, it, it'll kind of find its own center and uh, just let it float down and float back up. And that way the vise can kind of move around, but yet it's got a stop to stop it, to, to hold it in place, the torque. So uh, we'll just put one in here, uh, tighten down the vise. And uh, I got some tap magic here. Give it a good coating. And see it just found its own center there. Easy as pie. And now we're ready to bolt these uh, down. So let's uh, take our brand new bolts here. And it goes through the, through both pieces here. So it goes down through the uh, stanchion, through the uh, outfeed table, and down through the bottom. And then that goes down here on the bottom. One more step down on the uh, Vance Matcher restoration project. We have the stanchions installed, new bolts made, uh, everything's machined out ready for the, uh, the hold down bar. So uh, the next step will be to uh, start machining that uh, rough casting for the uh, pressure plate. And uh, we've also got to make another one of these uh, pieces on top. I had to uh, have a casting made for this as well as uh, the original one was uh, was gone when we got this so uh, all that's still got to be machined uh, we're gonna have to put elevation screws in here like we've done on the other ones uh, and when all that's done uh, we'll be done with this next step but we're well on our way of uh, getting the upright pressure plate finished up so uh, thank you for watching thank you for subscribing to my channel